It was just brought to my attention that a lot of people didn't know that you can still stream Fortnite from your Xbox directly to Twitch without using a computer, a capture card, or any type of external device. So if you want to learn how to stream from your Xbox to Twitch playing Fortnite or any game, then please stay tuned. Alright, so this is actually a very, very simple and easy tutorial that we are going to go through just in case you didn't know. But if you already did know, then please just drop a like and leave a comment anyways and you don't have to watch it, but I do appreciate you. The first thing you're going to need is the Twitch app. If you you don't have the Twitch app, then you're going to have to go over to the Xbox store, go down to search, and then you're going to type in Twitch, or you just type in TW because it pops up anyways. But if you already have the app, then that's just great. But if not, watch this part real quick because you're going to need to install it and then launch the app. Once you launch the app, assuming that you're already logged in because you're going to need to log into your Twitch account. If you have one, if you don't, you need to create one. But if you already have one or whatever and you're on the Twitch account right now, then you can see where it says search, following games, channels, and at the very bottom left corner it says broadcast but what you're gonna need to do now is press on broadcast it's gonna snap over to the right side of the screen and as you can see the broadcast title that's just something that I was doing a couple weeks ago but nobody watched because I'm irrelevant what we're gonna do now is press on that Xbox home button and then you're gonna go ahead and find one of your games like Fortnite once you are on your game that you want to broadcast press the Xbox button again go down to twitch it's gonna automatically snap the twitch to the right side of the screen where where you can set up the title and also the settings or whatever you need to set up. So if you go over into the settings and you have a Xbox Connect, then you can use that as a webcam, but honestly, it's kind of not that good anyway, so I highly recommend not using it. If you have your microphone plugged into your controller, then you can enable the microphone and you can adjust the microphone volume and you can also use the party chat so you can broadcast your party's chat as well. And then right here, you can mess with the quality. So of course you want to keep it at around high so you have at least 1080p or something like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable the microphone while plugging in my headset to my Xbox controller. We're going to plug that in right now and then you need to go ahead and enable the microphone and once you enable the microphone, if you're talking with a party, make sure to enable the broadcast party chat. So those are about the settings that you can mess with Then we're going to go ahead and press B and then we're going to go ahead and start the broadcast and now we are live. So now I'm going to do a quick mic check so you can hear me on the screen right now you should be able to see what I'm doing going up and down right here between save the world and battle royale and then you should be able to hear me screen right now you should be able to see what I'm doing going up and down right here between save the world and battle royale and then you should be able to hear me okay so there you go we are all set good and ready to go we are pretty much broadcasting right now I have a pretty good picture this looks like it's at least 720 that's not too bad it's still a pretty good uh, quality stream so I mean that's pretty much about it and as you can see at the bottom right now now you can see we have been streaming for two minutes. We have one viewer, which is myself. <laughs> Pretty sad. I want to end the stream. We're going to go ahead and press the Xbox button again. Go down to Twitch. Then you're going to go ahead and press the stop broadcast right here. Then after you press stop broadcast, now you can see it says your broadcast has ended. Thank you for broadcasting. And then on the computer screen, it just went black because we ended the stream. Pretty simple. It's almost exactly the same way it used to be. Uh, just a little bit different as it was before. You used to be able to press the Xbox button, go over to broadcast broadcast and capture but now it only allows you to broadcast a mixer which is kind of lame and nobody really likes mixer unless you do I'm very sorry but I don't like it and I don't prefer to stream there at all I just wish that they would have kept it as twitch but now that they don't now you know this is how you can stream to twitch from your xbox with no computer capture card no nothing I hope this did work I hope it helped and I hope you guys enjoyed if you are new to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and gently tap that like button drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about the video and until next time, I'll see you in the next one. A21 Aaron is out. Peace out, gangsters.